Last time we were able to connect our current logged in user to our to-dos. So in this video, what I want us to do is to go on and log out a user. So to do that, we're going to start off in our header where we have this UI for the sign out. So going to the header, I'm gonna search for it here real quick. So on here, you see that we have a form. So this form here has an input type of submit and that's where we have this sign out link. So what we wanna do is we want to connect this one to a view so that it can make a post request when we click sign out. So here we want to to use our URL, we'll create a view called logout. So it's gonna be logout user. Since Django also has logout, we don't want to basically have conflict with it. Then let's go ahead and create this this URL. So we're gonna go here and also have logout user. So path it's gonna be logout user, then views gonna be logout user too. Let's give it a name. Name will also be logout user. So let's create the view because it doesn't exist yet. So we're gonna go to the views and down here we do a def logout user. Then here we pass request. Not request and user but request. So here what I wanna do is basically log out the user since the only time this request is gonna be hit is when they are sending a post request. So to log out a user, it's actually really simple. So what we want is we want to call logout. So I'm going to import logout from Django contrib auth. So here we can have logout. All right. So what we want to do here is we want to call logout. And then we want to pass it the request we want to log out. And then let's show a message for the user. So I'm going to bring this one in. Then here we can show a message then we'll return a redirect too. So here, we show a message saying successfully logged out. Okay, so looking good. So let's remove this. Then we are going to be redirecting to the login page. So login here. Now, we are still having some issues. That's because in our URLs, has no views. Oh, we don't need this. This should be a comma. This should be a comma. So save. Now you see that the server is on. So if we come here and refresh and click here, click sign out see so that we are missing the the token in our form so we're gonna come here inside the form and also have c it's gonna be csrf underscore token okay so let's come back again here refresh so you see it's gonna go ahead and toggle the user so now let's log in again so we can now log in and also log out. Okay, so that's gonna do it for now. So in the next video, I'm gonna come and we start protecting some endpoints to be accessed by this anonymous user. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you later.